So your Tesla is completely dead. Not only can't you drive it, you can't open the doors, you can't open the windows, the front, the trunk. You are stuck. What do you do? Well, you could call Tesla service, sit, wait around for who knows how long, or you can man up. So can you just jumpstart your Tesla like the old days? You know, gas cars? Well, yes and no. You can use these, you may need to use these, but it's not the same and you gotta be careful. So first I'm gonna tell you how you know your battery is about to die, when you know your battery is completely dead, how to jumpstart your Tesla, and then how to be prepared when it does completely die. Yeah, you may need one of these. So if your 12 volt battery in the Tesla dies, you're screwed. You're staring at a brick. Around 2022, Tesla replaced all of the old style 12 volt batteries in their cars with this new lithium ion design. If you have this, this video really doesn't apply to you. And the good news is these batteries should last a lot longer than the old school 12 volt batteries. So how do you know your battery's dying? Well, first off, you may not be able to open your doors. The app may not connect. You're not gonna be able to get software updates. You're gonna start seeing some warning messages on the screens. Tesla's gotten a lot better with warning drivers before the 12 volt battery starts dying. These are some of the warning messages that you might see. The 12 volt battery in your car runs almost everything except for the drive motors, the HVAC, and uh, I, I think like the battery cooling heating system. So like everything else. All right, your Tesla's completely dead. You gotta jump this sucker, but you can't even get under the hood. Why? Because the battery's dead. So how do we do it? Using this little secret compartment. All right, check this out. All right, let's see what's behind this little secret compartment. We'll push on a spot right around here. Ugh. Ugh. All right, we're supposed to be able to open this thing, you know, in case of emergency type of thing, break glass. And uh, I cannot, so let me... Oh, it kind of moves over easy. Okay, it's unfortunate I had to use this because if I'm in an emergency kind of a situation, I might not have tools on me. But uh, let's move on from that for a minute and see what we got here. All right, you see how this is attached to the back. That's pretty nice. So it pulls that wire out. Now we got to find the other wire. This is the negative. All right, so I did have to kind of break this one loose. It felt like for a little while, like this wasn't even the wire. It was so tight in there. I just kind of shook and gave it a little bit of a yank and it kind of broke loose from something. But here we go. Positive, negative. All right, some people might be thinking, some devious people might be thinking, well, if you can open your frunk using this method, then you can open the frunk of any Tesla anywhere. Well, Model 3, Model Y using this method. Not so. This only works if the 12 volt battery is completely dead or if the doors are open. So this A23 is actually pretty cool as it's a 12 volt battery, but you don't need a 12 volt battery. What I like about this one is it's, it's tiny, okay? And I'll show you why that's gonna be great in a minute. You can also use a nine volt. Again, a little bit bigger, but by no means big. So open the car. Wham! See that again. Wham! So, what we can do is, uh, first thing is, I'm probably going to clean these up a little bit and then cover them with some electrical tape, uh, both sides. And then I'm going to maybe cover this up too, tape this up and uh, maybe tie it to here. And now I have a way to get into my car in case of an emergency. However, if we think about the most likely scenario, what would happen is we would be out somewhere stuck and we would still need some kind of a 12 volt supply to actually jump the battery, which I'm about to get to in a minute. Now, this only will open the frunk. That's it. It's not gonna jump your car. So the most likely scenario is somebody comes to help you 
to jump your car. And what do they have? What do you have? Potentially, hopefully, the old jumper cables. All right, 12 volt source, assuming it's already connected to their battery. And you can use them here and here. Boom, you're gonna open the frunk with that and you're gonna be able to jump your battery. Nonetheless, it costs a couple dollars and a zip tie, some electrical tape for me to feel a little bit better. So I'm gonna put that in there anyway. All right, so we finally have access to the battery and we can jump the car. But like I said before, it is not the same as an old internal combustion engine. Those required a ton of power for a few seconds just to get the car started. And once it runs, the battery would start charging using the alternator from the engine. This car doesn't have that kind of engine. It doesn't have an alternator. What it does have is high voltage batteries, okay? Those, the giant battery pack that actually drives the car. Those batteries actually charge up the smaller 12 volt battery. So what we need to do is get this car up and running, which means connecting another good 12 volt battery to this, you know, dead 12 volt battery, getting in the car, getting it up and running mean basic, means basically getting in the seat, pushing on the brake pedal, and you know, the screens normally start up in that. It might take a few minutes here once we get it connected, but that means the car is like quote unquote running and the high voltage packs should start recharging your battery if everything else is working properly. So let's pretend I have a normal car and I've already taken out the panel and everything else. I'm working on my car right now. I've got everything out. So it looks, you know, <laughs> everything's already taken out. But really, there's just one panel here. I'll show in a video clip uh, what that panel is. And that panel just comes off and you have access to the 12 volt battery. And what we really do here is we connect the jumpers to this battery, negative, positive. And then we want to remember the other connectors we connect to a another 12 volt battery but you don't want that other car running normally you would want that other car running to jump a, a an ice engine okay we don't need that kind of power and we don't want that kind of voltage so a normal car battery when the car is running is up at 14 volts 14.2 volts or something that might be a little too high for the the tesla because when the tesla sees that much voltage it might not do good things okay so if that other car is off the battery sits at about 12, 12 and a half volts, that's perfectly fine, okay? And you're not gonna kill that other car, you just need some of their power to get this car up and running to make the Tesla think that its battery is fine. Again, it will start connecting the high voltage batteries to the 12 volt battery and start charging it like an alternator would in an old school car. Just keep that in mind you're connecting another battery from another car 12 volt 12 volt positive positive negative negative but you don't want that other car running just turn that other car off all right just in case now you might have a little more life out of that battery after it's been charged but really it already died once that means it's got problems okay batteries 12 volt batteries just don't die for no reason something's wrong with it it's not healthy all right so you're going to need to replace it as soon as possible so when you get the car home you definitely want to plug it into the wall charger however the car kind of needs to stay on in order for it to keep charging that 12 volt battery from what i understand if you keep sentry mode on even at home which most people don't have sentry mode on at home uh it will keep the car like on quote unquote and it should be charging up that 12 volt battery you can obviously buy a replacement battery from Tesla. However, the size is a 51R if you want to go outside of Tesla and buy something else. So can you use one of those portable jump start packs to jump your Tesla? Well, maybe. If it supplies a constant 12 volts or so, you're going to be able to get into that super secret compartment, open up your frunk, and again, if it's a constant supply, that might be enough to get your battery going you know as we said you connect a, a separate battery 
Um, it doesn't need a lot of power. Again, it just needs a 12 volt source to run the car and get that high voltage connector thing going. So the main batteries start charging that smaller battery, the 12 volt battery. If it has the ability to do that, then yes, you can use that to jump your car. However, most of them from what I've seen are not designed to put out 12 volts constantly. You, you need to check into which battery packs will do that because uh, most of them are designed to just put out like a, a, a serious amount of power you know 14 volts 12 14 volts uh, at a high amperage for a small amount of time to to jump an old school ice motor all right stay tuned i got a video coming out soon as to why you can't upgrade to these types of batteries yet yeah it's a lithium battery not just this one none of the lithium batteries